Want to know why this photo is not the real deal? Stick with me and I'll tell you why. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name's Jack Barton and I'm here today to talk to you all about centerpieces and the real deal. Hey folks, so I want to talk to you today about this centerpiece. And the reason I want to talk to you about this centerpiece is because it's the one that everybody sends me when they're looking for a bit of inspiration for rustic wedding centerpieces. It's beautiful, it's really light, it's elegant, it's simple, and it has that little bit of rustic charm. But there is a lot missing here, and this is where Pinterest is deceiving you guys. And I want you to look a little bit closer. Have a little look at what's missing here. Can you see? Okay, let me help you out. Take a look all the way around this centerpiece. What is not there? Any ideas? Did you spot it? Take a look around the table because there's not one set of knives and forks, no napkins, no water jugs, no wine bottles, no bread baskets, no bread plates, side plates, nothing. Nothing going on here at all on this table apart from this centerpiece. And that is exactly why this centerpiece looks so pretty. But when your guests come to sitting down at their table, what are they going to be able to see? Think about where their eye line takes them. If they've got three glasses set right in front of them, which they will have, and lots of other things on there, this centerpiece is suddenly going to disappear behind everything. They're not going to be able to see all of this pretty. And this is because the staging of it is too thin, too low. So although these log slices look lovely as they are, once this table's set, it's all going to disappear behind. You need to think about how high you are setting your centerpieces, what height you are creating so that they don't just disappear down and you lose all of that loveliness. Pinterest does this a lot. Let me show you. Pinterest isn't doing this on purpose. They just want to show you lovely centerpieces. But take a look. Empty tablecloth after empty tablecloth. And this is not the way that it will be on your wedding day. So far, we've only talked about round tables. You also need to think about if you're having long tables, what your centerpieces are like. Take a look at this lovely thing. So this has been created for a long table where people sit in rows. And it's so beautiful. It really is gorgeous. And I can see why loads of you would love it. But think about it. Is it really practical? Where the hell is anybody going to put a bottle of champagne or a glass of rosé? There's just no room for anything. They're going to feel so hemmed in and uncomfortable. So as beautiful as it looks, you've really got to think practical. So next time you're on Pinterest, really take a closer look at how these photos can work for you. Remember, a lot of these photos are from styled shoots where stylists, florists, people like that are showing off the very best of what they can do. They've not got any parameters to work within. So it doesn't have to be practical for them. They are just looking to make things pretty. So make sure that you don't get tripped up by this. Make sure that whatever you choose for your wedding day is going to work perfectly, practically and pretty all at the same time. Here's some pictures from Pinterest of fully laid tables. Can you see how busy it all gets in there? How hectic it is? How squished in things can be? This is a more true representation of how it will look on the actual day. So take note. One massive tip that I like to give all of my clients is definitely the one thing that you don't need on there is cups and saucers. Cups and saucers can be definitely placed somewhere else. And by this point in the day when somebody wants a little cup of tea, then they need a leg stretch too. So don't waste any space on the table for these. If you found this video helpful, then do hop over to our main channel where we're building a nice library of videos for all you guys that are planning your wedding days. Even better, hit the like button, leave us a comment or subscribe so that you're notified as soon as a new video becomes available.